Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Matt Latter and today we're going to continue our Stellaris campaign. In the last video we've managed to start up an event chain of the old gods, so we're gonna have to see what's coming out there in the end. We've also managed to enlighten uh, the guys in the Angathar system and they fucked us over because the border system decided we do no longer have full influence here and retracted our borders so that uh, Anaconus and Kajam were no longer with our borders. Which sucks massively, but we'll deal with it. In the meantime, we've also decided to pump up our fleet uh, and, well, go amoeba hunting. So far, we've managed to clear out two systems and we'll continue doing that. We now have a powerful enough fleet to complete. tackle most of the uh, neutral aliens. Uh, the Gothia system. Okay, you still have orders. Let's get you some more. Alright, and we've met those guys down here, which we may sooner or later take into our empire. Cough, cough. <laughs> Obviously only by friendly ways. Evading hostile fleet. Warfare and murder. Okay, uh, the wound system. Next target acquired. We'll probably make a sweeping movement um, down to the uh, yeah down uh, to the right here. But first of all, I'll probably clear out Pesh and uh, Iriani. We'll have to see. Okay. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. So amoeba breeding program. Um, sounds strange, but what it does is basically uh, later when we get um, hangars for a spaceship to create carriers. We can actually breed kind of like miniature amoebas. Found. And we found an anomaly. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Really low failure risk, so go ahead and do it. Right away. Construction complete. And on Nafithi, we finished the surface complete. construction key. Right, more science buildings everywhere. I remember now. And you will be creating a mining network here. Yeah, we make lots and lots of food. And uh, take the loss of three food units here easily. And right, the primary colony building has been finished up here. That is going to be awesome for us. So, let's upgrade some of the stuff here, and continue onward. Let's take out all of these here, uh, and there's debris and here. We'll take care of that sooner or later. The fleet has been repaired. In the meantime, um, yes, we are building up the full fleet size at the moment. But we'll probably need to rebuild the ships that will be lost in a few moments here. <laughs> Good thing though uh, is we can repair the station of our vassals. I mean, maybe they will stay a vassal long enough. Oh, a magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of the planet experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the science ship. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of a ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. So yeah, a bunch of physics research. I like that. And we have a ship chilling out doing nothing. Let's send you to these systems here. Alright, before we do that, research the project, please. That was uh, more important. Villa's on its way. And the science ship is still in Difta. Complete. Once it's done here, we'll probably first go to Seer and uh, take care of the debris. And then to Teropia and Subtranius. But first, another Amoeba, was it? Yeah, it was. Let's take care of it. And we are at our limit. That means... We find another anomaly. Um, massive storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. It might be worth the effort to study them in more detail. 
22% failure risk is too much for me at the moment. We'll remember Atmir and say just continue doing your other work. Anomaly found. Alien down there have a massive space fleet as well. Well, massive might be System overstating it, but yeah. Complete. Um, where is? Oh, that's the one in at two. Okay, thought it was the same. Apparently two. Yeah, we're probably going to send a more experienced guy down here. First of all, though, you go ahead and research that, and then over the fuck out of it. And apparently this system isn't all that good. Let's build the research station and be done with it. Hostile fleet engaged. I think I misclicked there. Ah, no, okay, it already started. So we are fighting another amoeba swarm. Situation log updated. Well, not a few losses. Three ships down. Let's rebuild them. We should also consider doing a port upgrade for our main spaceport. Two anomalies. Okay. Uh, after they are repaired, they can go to uh, Yanni. obviously let's see here comes first and this guy is also approaching level five the other guy is still level two nearly level three and research station has been built at least something Really need to go explore their space at some level. This is actually a game where I might be tempted into gaining a fourth science ship. There's just so much open space. For now, let's stick it with three. Debris I'm actually analyzed. A more um, I'm actually currently considering. Um, Doing another small expand, one or two planets, maybe. Check out the ocean one here. Well, we can clear these blockers, so that would be okay. We can put the ship down here for nice squares we get enhanced, and it would probably connect up with a uh, Stedron future. But it wouldn't give us anything else of value. Really. They're a large world. Should be able to colonize. I mean, it's obviously not the greatest planet, but it's um, size-wise pretty nice. It will put a stop gag on any expansion to the south from those guys. Um, may give us uh, out of and later maybe rim so that's an option I did have desert colonies right Let me check. desert world right uh, tropical here many arctic worlds hmm what other desert worlds are there up for grabs well, a small one here. Let's quick check it out. No good place for us to put the ship shelter. Probably not worth it. This time not worth it. This world only size 10 again. Yeah, I think I may just go and uh, take those guys out. 
so Special quick change. Complete. Okay, first of all, archaeological project. Hey, all right, the Cybrex thing. We have learned that Hantur 1A was the point of origin of the Cybrex. Oh, some kind of sentient machine was created by the moon's original inhabitants. Although the details of how it happened are unknown to us, it's eventually resulted in the birth of a massive communal machine consciousness, Cybrex. At some point, they turned on the core, watching the population of their homeworld in a brief but destructive war that all but destroyed the moon's biosphere. The systematic elimination of core colonies and neighboring systems followed, until the civilization had ceased to. We won't make the same mistake. <laughs> but Hunter is an um, interesting system then. Okay, uh, you have your tasks still. So yeah, let's just go ahead and order a colony. Right, we get to choose which type of population unit we want. We have a fully adapted um, pop unit here. I could spread those underground dwellers around in the stars a little bit. I mean, we are playing a very cosmopolitan society. But for now, I'm going to stick with my uh, main species. Uh, and an Admir we've encountered another speed. Okay. Down here. Avian ship design. They look massively Construction old. complete. At least in my opinion. Um You know what? I want to be sure we get these anomalies down here before they uh, maybe log us out. So let's send our main researcher down here. In the meantime, this guy can continue exploring. And Navithi has finished surface construction again. Plenty of good stuff here. Good, yeah, let's do it. We still have enough food to grow sizably. Uh, we have some migration happening here. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's clear the active volcano. Yeah, we have no stuff. And yeah. Let's get the fleet up here. And then to Terramada. Aramda. Or correct. A message comes. All good. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Atmir has a third anomaly. Isolated cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Atmir 7. That could be buildings. Holy shit, that system's gonna be fun to explore. Alien species procurement. The director of the Museum of Exobiology and Nira Astan has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for the lengthy period of a time. We will gather it. I mean, we could deny the quest line, but come on, it's fun. Situation log updated. So that means we now have uh, eight species scattered uh, around the um, world. You can see the quest, uh, quest marks, exclamation marks around. And we need to procure them. Each one takes a little bit of time, but I mean, we have three science. Should work out. So, the science ship has entered the Toropia system and it's reported that a stellar object, not unlike the shrine to the untold, is indeed orbiting the star. S6. Where is the science ship? Here. Oh, yeah. Another level 5 scientist. Uh, so something for our... Oh, I selected the research station. Ah, now I get it. I entered the um, system with a fleet. Not a science fleet, but still. Oh, you are close to five. Still couldn't then. Oh no, it requires a skill of three or high. Can work with that. Well, let's put in the... 
you guys charge up. Ah, it's barely within the borders. Ah, uh, damn, you couldn't see it because of the uh, displacement. Can we get civilian access? The question is, can we then also settle there? Yeah, they hate us. They won't. Okay. Then we need to redirect our efforts. But where? There's still this ocean world over here. Hmm. Maybe we find something in these places here. That's annoying me right now. What's the next best world to settle on? Desert size 22. That could work out. Science ship to go there AM. We need to go down there. Do continue surveying and then here. Take care of the debris and pay. research complete. Okay, we have new research: the colonial centralization, monthly influence gain, and some edicts, and the third level of um, planetary capital building, the proper planetary capital. As you can see in the tooltip, it gives you some massive bonuses, but it also costs a shit ton of. Interesting proposition. Two new worlds we could battle. Arctic and Tropical. Arctic and Tropical. We have a nice tropical one here. We have barely anyone who can probably do. Alright, that was the Titanic life here. And high gravity. I think I've seen some good tropical ice wine. Or am I misremembering something? As well. Well, there's a small one here. Not worth it, really. In tropical. Uh, find one? Arctic is 60. Good work with that. Habitability is important since it limits how happy your population can be. But I don't think I've actually found many Arctic. And this one's a small one. This one's sizable enough. 17. Not. Yeah. Well, we could clear up most of the blockers here with the volcanoes. Hmm. Something to consider for further expansion. What are the other options again? Uh, Biolab 2 or Hydro Farms 3? Let's go with Arctic. It's one of the closer worlds to uh, our nor normal state for oceanic planets, so that's okay. Uh, surface queue finished. Alright, let's upgrade. And yeah, um, it might be nice to get some arctic planets, but that will have to wait still. But really, the random generation for this galaxy shafted me so far. Really hard at that. So, since I can't go up there, let's go to Uriani. Murder all people there. And then construct system a spaceport here when we can. Complete. And the Sahira system has been surveyed. Go ahead and build the mining station. The only thing you can build. 
Pokemon, etc. Grow your borders, please. Get the feeling borders are much slower growing nowadays. We've encountered the Saxoid civilization. Let's see, where is it? Lulus, all the way down here. They are in the late Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworking. Well, something to consider. The planet is sizable. They are fanatic individualists and materialists, so they would fit nice within our society. Natural sociologists, slow learners, intelligent continental preference. Yeah, they are of interest to us. And there's a tomb world in the same system. Are they living on tomb world? No. Yeah, it's a con one. Up here is the tomb world. Hmm. Bomb crater. Oh well, let's keep going. So, we still need to get up here. A transmission from Royal Inari Sons. We're receiving a transmission from the Royal Inari Sons. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. They are fanatic militarist spiritualists, military dictatorship and honor-bound warriors. I bring greetings from Grand Marshal Kutrok, the undisputed ruler of the Royal Inari Sons. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Uh, we're both militarists, so as fellow star explorers, we salute you. Where are they? Ah, oh, all the way down here. They can already see there's another nation here. That border looks unnatural. Someone colonized or put a border post on here. Oh, our primary science ship. Level 5 guy, yeah. It's here and it's ready to research. Wow, even he has still a level 15 failure chance, uh, 15% failure chance. So, let him research. If it doesn't take too long, we'll do these three in this episode. If not, we'll have to wait, because our time is nearly over again. Ah, he's quick enough. So this here is the massive storms visible on the gas giant. Complete. And there's more construction finished on this planet. Mm. Let's build a spaceport. Gives us more uh, naval capacity right off the bat, which is good. Oh no, still disloyal because they think we are... Uh, no longer minus 80, only minus 68. You're gonna get you guys. So, magnetic storms. Research complete. System survey. Complete. And research complete. UV lasers, nice. Okay, next up front, I'm going to take the gravity sensors. Uh, the survey speed is nice, and the component can be quite helpful in getting a better picture of your surroundings. Though the shields are nice as well. Uh. Actually, let's go fusion core. We need battery reactors first. But that also means we can upgrade our ships here with UV lasers. Save that. How much would we require? 225. Yeah, we can deal with that. So, the magnetic storms. Atmir 2 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. The cause of these storms is not imme immediately apparent, as we have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying the anomaly. Construction complete. So more science research we can build there. Atmir is becoming more and more attractive. Where the second one is. Um, right, I was about to upgrade the fleet. Yep, I have the materials. Yeah, from 400 something to 640. That's a nice bump. The construction ship up here has finished its constructions. Anything else we can do? 
and our colony ship is out. Still doing research on these walls. Hmm. Where to send you? Probably to Pesh. Same with uh, the colony ship. I'll probably plant you in orbit right away. <clears throat> right? In the meantime, the anomalies are being researched. Let's see what the second one brings. The second one, by the way, before we have it is... The material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors. We've had that one before, I believe. Let's see. Asteroid fossil. Alright, the remains of a shattered planet, and basically there's some uh, remains of waters and fossils in the planet. So, more society research. So far, that's a very nice system uh, to research all the anomalies in. I'm excited what this is going to be. Cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Artmir 7. Analyzed. We've analyzed more amoeba debris. This is all nice and dandy. Let's see what the planet brings. Alright, I freed Inari. Even what it was that was here. Maybe it was just some transient being that uh, didn't stay there. And here. Oh, a war declaration. The coalition of Ridoth against the royal Inari sons. Interesting. Let's see if they get taken down or they can take down their enemy. Those guys are expanding with border posts, not colonies. Yeah, they wouldn't like that. Uh, alien barracks. Silhouette discernible from orbit are indeed buildings, and closer inspection revealed them to be of an obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently on a galactic timescale, Science Officer Nahel believes that secrets of alien tactics may yet be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. Special project made ready. Situation log updated. So right away, go ahead and research. Science ship here in system gets to uh, habitability zero. Why that? This seems like a bug. Okay, can anyone explain to me then why I got that research? What? Okay, now, now the game is uh, messing with me. So yeah, nothing worked out apparently. Did get the research for the desert planets. Yeah, we got desert first, and I was stupid enough to not look around, apparently, because no one in our uh, worlds can settle desert planets. Oh well. I done goofed, guys. So instead, let's just settle a planet and easily make use of. In this case, I'll probably go for Bazanak just to get Anaconus and Rangoth into our systems. Not the best solution here, but it is at least one solution that works. So, where to clock you down? Um, This here looks nice. So that should expand our borders wide enough to go there again. If I didn't look that. Okay, um, anyways, on that planet here we have unemployed people. Oh, the guys that are uh, up here. Okay, um, time to build more things, I think. Let's build a bunch of research things. That should take care of the matter. But anyways, um, this is gonna have to do it for the day. I'm already way over time. 
Um, I thank you for watching. I hope you found it fun. Um, looking forward to seeing you around the next time. Comment, like, subscribe if you want. See ya!